Hey guys, it's King Butterbones here, and we are back with another Kill Counts from Outer Space the game. So today I'm gonna be teaching you guys and helping you guys how to get to level 100 the easiest way and the quickest way as possible. So if you guys want to see more Kill Counts from Outer Space videos like this, you guys know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, like button, notification bell, and without further ado, let's begin. So currently right now when I'm making this video it is currently June 4th but I'll be uploading this on June 5th. So the current meta that I'm using right now is Spikey which he's the tracker class. So I'm using the Bouncer Caster which requires level 50 and the Popcorn Bazooka level 15. So obviously I'm going to help you guys and teach you guys what weapons to use if you're not at that level. So the first thing you're going to use is the Con Candy Ray Gun and the Mallet. So just keep grinding it out, just keep using the ray gun. I prefer using the ray gun than the mallet itself, but you could use the mallet for any situation in close combat. And the tricks, the hypnotic lure is the first one that you're going to unlock. That's just, it's just for free. So the rest you can use as well, but honestly the best, one of the best ones is the hypnotic lure and the balloon dog. The balloon dog, you can literally find anyone. The rest is if you just want to have fun. And the clown talities, you just use it, whatever. I don't have the shadow because there's a current challenge that you can't get right now. So that's kind of kind of weird, which they didn't release the baby clowns mines. So I'm going to hop on in a private match and teach you guys how to grind to level 100. So let's go. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Oh, Spiky looks so clean with the orange and the creamy colors. All right. All right, so obviously private servers are going to be a bit different than actual public servers. But let's just say I find... Oh, if you guys see these, you can destroy these. Easy 75 points right there. 75 XP. And, you know, if the survivors turn it on, it's going to get annoying. So you'll get distracted. So if I spawned over here, right? So if I spawn in the beginning, they're either going to be on the right, on the corner right of the map, the left side... Or all the way here so there's one right here currently right now if you guys see that circle that means the human is running and you get to see or hear the human so we're gonna target this one right here you can keep shooting the popcorn gun now you can't shoot over the railings I don't know why you just can't even if you try to hit the head so obviously some people are just gonna use the soda the energy drink so which is gonna get very annoying but you want to try to land as much hits as possible Right, try to land all the hits as you can. Now you can either, right? You can either kill them by doing this two times. It will just easily kill them. And boom. Now look how much points I got. 2,220. And in like what? Less than a minute? So that's actually very, very good. Now the next one that I recommend, right? You can also put them in a the popcorn. Or not popcorn in the con candy cocoon. So, look, this guy is moonwalking. How do? So, what the? All right. So yeah, they like to vault a lot. So try to get the popcorn gun as close range as possible. It does a lot of damage. And then what you can do is switch out your weapon, hit them three times. Easy. Easy to use. And then look at that. We're already at three thousand six hundred and ten. Right. And we're not even done yet. We're not even done yet. So since this is a con candy cocoon, right? You also get an additional 500 XP. Now we're at 4,000. That's just that's just too strong. Now other weapons and what I've seen so far, other weapons does not do more XP besides the popcorn gun. It's just crazy insane. There's some weapons that do more damage, but give you less XP. And every time you see like a bunker or one of the uh, objectives, con candy that. And it's very, very good. So honestly, I very, very much like him. Now, let's just say the survivor is running away from you. Now, if you want to try to keep up the same pace, LOL. All right. You can hit them from here. It does a lot of long range. It's a very long range weapon. Boom, look, I'm very close to her now. Look at that. Now I can just do whatever. Clowntality, con candy cocoon, it doesn't matter. 
So I really, really love love it so far. So it's it's meta right now. So if you try to grind for those levels, I really recommend using it. Now, of course, you might be saying, King, I don't have those weapons. I'm not that current level right now. Okay, that's fine. And if you guys look at my tier list, which I'm pretty sure the tier list will come out today. Oh, actually, by making this video yesterday. So look at the tier list that I make and try to use the weapons and try to see what fits you. It really depends what fits you more. And what I recommend for beginners is just use the, the cotton candy ray gun. And if you want to use the mallet just to hit them a bunch of times and then use the ray gun, you can definitely use that. But you can also use, if you are having difficulties capturing humans, you can also get cotton candy cocoons around the map that are non-human. So you can get a bit more XP. I believe it's 250 instead of 500. So you can also do that. But, but once again, if you don't want to be a killer, you can also be a survivor. I will also make different tier lists of survivors and killers if you guys want me to. And, you know, if you want to do public matches, you can't, you don't really have a choice of who you're going to be, a killer or a survivor. So what I recommend is do private matches. All the XP that you get from here, it literally saves. It saves so much. Like, like I can just, I'm grinding XP right now. Look, I'm already at 10,000. It's just, it's very easy to grind on here. Now it might get a little boring. I recommend hearing some music or something, but you know, I just really recommend doing it. And you know, I mean, you should not bully someone for doing private messages. There's nothing wrong with that, right? There's nothing wrong. You're just trying to get to the proper level, unlock cosmetics. You can also do challenges as well if you want to. So I recommend doing the challenges here with a friend, of course, because it's actually a bit harder to do it by yourself, depending what challenges it is. So I recommend doing it with a friend or a group of people. So yeah, there you have that. Now, let's just say you have a friend here, right? Now, what I recommend for the friend, if he wants to become a survivor, once you down six humans, tell your friend to do to use the resurrection machine. You're going to get up to like 20k XP easily every time. So, if your friend uses the resurrection, oh, well, he's obviously, he or she is going to be the last person, right? So, they're going to resurrect all the bots in here, and you can easily get up to 20k XP every single match. So that's the huge benefit of private servers. It's just easy to do. Now, sometimes the bots can be very annoying. Sometimes they will have melee weapons and straight up have infinite stamina and straight up try to kill you. So it gets annoying time to time. And I'm currently trying to find the last bot. I have no idea where the bot is. So we're, we're just going to take a guess. But just remember, con, con candy this. You got tons of XP from it. We're going to take an educational guess. We're going to go for maybe here. Now, guessing different locations is not a bad thing, guys. You actually might get really lucky and find the humans. Or even, you can actually land on them and it will give them a stun. So, you know, it's it's worth taking the risk of using the, tel the teleportation. And I really love what they did to it where they added it to the game. It just It just works very, very well. All right, so it's taking way too too much, but the the survivor is right here. It took so much time to do that, but all right. So what about the lure? You guys are probably talking about what about the lure? So why is it the best? Well, if you get out of my way, you can easily do this, lure them, the bouncer caster. They can't get away. It's physically impossible to get away. It's just too good. Once you have the bouncer counselor and the lore, it's just GG's. Which is just very, very insane. So, I mean, there you have it. And then the game will obviously end. The The bot is eventually going to die. They don't stay there for a long period of time. I, I believe they're trying to... I, I don't know what they're doing in there. There you go. So, there you have it. So, you can obviously grind for more con candy cocoons if you want. But it's all up to you. You can get achievements, be challenges in here, whatever you want. There you go, seven presumed dead. And then the current points that we have right now, let's see how much we get. Look at that juicy XP, look, halfway there. Well, there you have it. 
So what do you guys think? Did, did that really help out? I mean, if you guys want more, uh, you know, opinions or if you guys want me to teach you guys more about how to play the game or how to grind more XP, don't be shy. Tell me in the comment section how to do that, how to do this. King, how do you get to that level? Or what's the, you know, best customization to see what looks good? Just let me know. Don't, I'm, I'm here for you guys. You know, I'm here to reply back. If I don't reply back right away, that's either because I'm working. But besides that, if you guys want to see more Kill Comes From Outer Space videos like this, you guys know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, like button, notification bell, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.